This is Come On Now, the podcast, and is Shohei Otani having the best baseball season in history? He just finished one of the craziest statistical games I ever heard of in my life. Three home runs, 10 RBIs, six hits, two stolen bases. Scored four times. Of course, it's against my Miami Marlins. But this was spectacular. This man is on another world. Is this the best season of all time? The first 50-50 player in history of baseball. Baseball's been going on forever. <laughs> And this is the first 50-50 player. Actually, 51-51. This is ridiculous. He's still hitting over 290. His 51 stolen bases. He's only been caught four times. I'm not calling him Ricky Henderson. But sheesh. You see the fastest guy in the world, too? He just know how to run that those bases. But is this the best season of all time? Now, he still got nine games left. Still got nine games left. But is this the best season of all time? We got Barry Bonds. What year was what year Barry Bonds had? 2001. 73 home runs, 137 RBIs, a 328 batting percentage. He wasn't still in bases like that at that time. So, you know, but hey, 73 home runs in the season. Ridiculous. Most in the season ever. 137 RBIs with a 328 batting percentage. Crazy. His 2002 season, he didn't really get that many at bats because people were just walking. They were walking Barry Barnes with the bases loaded. <laughs> you can't make this up. In that year, he went 46 home runs, 110 RBIs, and a 370 batting average. I don't know. Then we got to go to Babe Ruth, 1921. 59 home runs, 168 RBIs, 378 batting average. 17 stolen bases. He was caught 13 times. I wouldn't mistake Babe Ruth for no speed demon. So, you know. Hmm. Ted Williams, 1949, 43 home runs, 159 RBIs, 343 batting average. Aaron Judge, 2022, 62 home runs, 131 RBIs, 311 batting average. Now, put this in perspective with Shohei. Ichiro Suzuki, best year still in bases, and he was amazing at it, was 56. Shohei, he's one of the best base stealers in, that we ever had in the league. He just got to the league a little late. Shohei, with nine games left, he has 51. 51. Four times caught stolen. 51 home runs in a year. 120 RBI. Like I said, there's still nine games left. Who knows? He might have another. Average five RBIs, three RBIs the rest of the season. Average two RBIs the rest of the season. That puts you at 18. Let's say 18. Let's put you, let's put in that ballpark. That put it at 138. Let's say another four home runs, 55. Another seven, six stolen bases, 56, 57. The best season of all time. Shohei Atani. Nah, I got to go with Barry Bonds. I seen that with my own two eyes. I don't care what y'all say, how, many, how much juice y'all think he was on. His eye, his hand eye coordination is what really control hit that ball. Now he already had power most of his life, and he was a base stealer. Even his 1990 year, when he had uh, when he had 53 stolen bases and 33 home runs, you know he can run the bases. But later on, he was more of a power hitter. But his hand eye coordination was second to none. That's why he was able to hit those balls. That's why he made contact with everything and. Half his balls went out there into that pond over there in San Francisco. That man was amazing. That's probably the best season I ever seen in my life. But Shohei, he's he's, in, he's a close second.
Aaron Judge, that was amazing. But these 50, 50 plus stolen bases, that's that's ridiculous. That's amazing, man. I think this is the second best season of all time. I, I can't really go into Bay Ruth and Ted Williams like that. I just just I could just look at the numbers and what I heard about those guys. So I have to go with Shohei as the second best season of all time. And then you have Mark McGuire, 1998. He hit 70 home runs, 147 RBIs, batting 299. But Mark McGuire wasn't still in no bases. He wasn't still in anything. Except for his pride and dignity. That's been gone for a long time. But <laughs> But I, I have to go with Shohei. Second best season of all time. Barry Bonds still first. Still the all-time greatest baseball player i ever seen. But darn, this is amazing. This is crazy. This man just had 10 RBIs, 6 for 6. I mean, granted, 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 the last home run was against the second baseman who, who got put in the game. He threw a 50-mile-per-hour pitch. I could have went out there and hit it. Not going to say it was a home run, but I could have hit that ball. It definitely made it out the outfield. Into. So, but th that ain't his fault. He, he, he put the whole pitch on the hit it. And the, the other pitch that he got, it's a one. My Miami Marlins. Well, Lord, Lord have mercy. It's a one two pitch. You, you are ahead of the count. And there's a person on third. You shouldn't even probably be pitching to this guy, but whatever. What do y'all got to lose? Season's over. Give the fans something to watch. They came for it. They came to see Shohei. They ain't come to see the Marlins. And the pitcher puts it right over the plate, a curveball. One, two pitch. What are you doing? <laughs> You're supposed to give him something to chase. Definitely don't give him something right over the plate, a curveball that just goes right down straight down middle. But that's my Miami Marlins. Uh, ain't been good since those the Florida Marlins, but hey. That's for another day, another time. But Shohei Otani makes them pay. He takes advantage of them putting in the second baseman, the pitch, whatever. The stats just say it's a home run. I don't care. I don't care who it's against. So Barry Bonds first, Shohei second. What do y'all think? Way in, man. This is come on now, the podcast. Yes, you got Nick talking baseball. Yeah, Shohei maybe. Y'all have a good one.